Let's translate John chapter 8, verse 12. Palin un of tis elalisen o Jesus legon. Ego emi tofos tu cosmu o akaluthon emi umi peripatisi en tis cotia. Alexi tofos tis zois. Again, therefore, Jesus was speaking with them, saying, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will not walk in the dark, but will have the light of life. We have our connecting particle, and then we have our subject over here, Jesus, and our verb right here. Now we have our indirect object here, and we have an adverb there modifying our verb. Then we have this. I'm going to put it over here in the predicate position, but this is nominative. Coming back to here, Jesus. Jesus is the one saying. What is he saying? Ego e me. Ego e me. I am. This is from the Septuagint. Look at Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. And God said to Moses, Ego e me o on. I am who I am. Ego e me. So this is extremely important. Jesus is making the connection here with being Yahweh. And then he clarifies or continues to expand. I am the light. The light of the world. And he says, the one who follows me might walk except it's negated and it's negated twice umi peripatisi so this is super emphatic normally you would just say u uh, with the indicative but if you're going to use the subjunctive in new testament greek you're going to use me to negate it here we have both making it doubly emphatic this is extreme language and the subjunctive in this case although it doesn't bear tense uh, we're going to translate it as a future and that mirrors what we get later so we'll never walk and then we have our dative prepositional phrase walk in darkness we have our contrasting coordinating conjunction and now we have a new verb no new subject so it's still the one who follows me will have this one is a future tense will have the light of life so therefore jesus was speaking with them again saying i am the light of the world the one who follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life now in terms of vocabulary let's take a look at phos light In one sense, it's light, right? The opposite of darkness. This is a physical term, but it can also be a transcendent one. In a transcendent sense, the passage is the element and sphere of the divine. Interesting. So I am, and this is in and of itself a declaration to be Yahweh, but I am, I am the light 
I'm how you access the divine. Who? The world. So if anyone in the in human world, human sphere, want to access the divine, you got to come through the light. That is Jesus. Cosmos here can normally mean world, uh, order, the universe. But here it's gen general, general. Here it's general, meaning the world, humanity. So humans who come to Jesus have access to the divine. Akalutheo normally means to uh, follow, to go along with. But it can mean to be a disciple. It can mean to comply with, follow, or obey. You may have either one of these here between disciple, follow, or obey. The one who obeys me, the one who follows me. We can even see um, in terms of compliance, you obey tis theis, the gods. So it, this could be follow, obey, comply with, or it can be follow as in disciple. The one who follows Jesus will never walk in darkness. This is to go about, to walk around. Uh, in imagery, which is what we have here, uh, it's used of doubters, although that's not what this is talking about. It can be used of darkness. That is that is what we have here. But it's important to see also, it can be about conduct, one's life, habits. Skotia, darkness. This is a state of being that which is devoid of light. But figuratively, it's the darkening of the mind or the darkening of the spirit. And Jesus is saying, the one who comes to me, the one who follows me, the one who accesses the divine in me, they won't walk in a darkened mind. They won't walk. They won't live with a darkened spirit. Instead, they will have the light of life. Now, life here can be in the physical sense. It could also be transcendent, and that makes sense because phos, we talked about being more of a transcendent thing, access of the divine. And here we have life, the transcendent life that comes in God or, or that comes in Christ. So to translate John 8, verse 12, therefore Jesus was speaking to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, brush up on your Greek and Hebrew, and we'll see you next time.